Hello and welcome to the final day of the NWG Innovation Festival here at Newcastle Racecourse. We've had a brilliant week, haven't we? It's been amazing. We thought you'd like to see some of the highlights, so here they are. Well, what I think is really exciting about this festival is that it's all about challenges. Well, I just couldn't believe how successful it was last year, given in a way it was a giant experiment. Scientists, technologists, engineers, artists, everybody comes together to work out how can you solve it. A, a sprint has a certain structure, it's a process that we use that, that sort of helps us to generate innovative ideas. On Friday then is that sort of big show and tell, so it's a chance for you to pitch your idea and to get some sponsorship or some investment to take it forward. The excitement is mounting. In just a few hours, our teams will be on this stage presenting their brilliant ideas to their peers. There are one or two nerves this morning, but they're all putting the finishing touches to their presentations. So let's go take a look. You look like you're working really, really hard. How are the preparations going for this afternoon? Yeah, they're good. I'm, I'm pretty nervous. I think our idea has has uh, taken shape over the course of today. Really, um, we've had to we've had to test them a lot. So now it's all about um, about making it really visual. <laughs> ah, yeah, a little bit nervous. <laughs> You two look really busy, I don't want to disturb you for very long. Um, final preparations, how's it going? Um, Alright, so I've just arrived today, um, but it's actually a fantastic idea that they've come up with, so I think we're just trying to sort of finalise it, yeah, and come up with some taglines. I think it's got a good scope, yeah, it's a good idea. I'm drawing pictures to get the pitch squared off of my head. Simple as, because if I don't draw a picture, I'll stand here and just go... <laughs> How are you feeling about this afternoon? Well, it's fine. It's fine. Everybody's going to love this. It's simple. We're really excited. It's going to yeah. be amazing. Yeah, yeah. We're going to smash it out of the park. Oh, well, so you set the bar. That's fantastic. No nerves in here at all, then? None whatsoever. None at all. These guys are really up for it, but they don't want to mess it up because we put so much effort in all week. It's all down to that pitch. Tell me about your pitch this afternoon. Um, so we are trying to find a solution to dog waste on the streets. So we want to remove single-use plastics, we want to um, think of a, a, an idea to get some gas revenue from that as well. Now I hear that means you've got to get this poor guide dog to poo on demand. It would be um, good to demonstrate that, that the, the use of that poo and how organic it is and the, the emissions that we could be using are, are taking off the streets from collecting dog waste and going into landfill and taking that into AD instead would be really beneficial for Northern Moon Water and the carbon neutral um, economy. That is brilliant. Never thought I'd talk about dog poo like that on the telly, but there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> what have been the highlights for you? Well, I think the whole thing about the Innovation Festival was it's about some real hard-nosed changes, game changers for us as a water company. Um, and I've just seen some incredible stuff this morning that the Ordnance Survey have done, which is going to make a massive difference. But I think what's also been wonderful is the things that we're doing to change society, to change the environment. Um, because I stood up on the stage and said I wanted to change water companies, I wanted to change people's lives, I wanted to change the world. And that's what they've done this week. Innovation for me is all about collaboration, it's about willing to take risks which are calculated but we're not sure what the outcome of taking that risk would look like and it's about inspiration, it's about learning from what others are doing, taking that and applying it to your own trade and trying to build on that to create something new, that's innovation for me. So innovation to me means changing people's mindset so they have a different way of looking at things. Helping big organisations to try new things. I think what's been really surprising is just how much our customers have been blown away by the whole festival and how much they go away understanding the diversity of what we do as a business and it's not just simply about turning the tap on or flushing the loo, there's so much more to the water industry and to Northumbrian water. I'd encourage anybody who wants to get involved to get in touch with us, um, you know, hashtag Innovation Festival 18, let us know that you're interested and we'll get you on the list for next year. Here we go, this is what we've been working towards, the pitches. So you're our first sprint contestant, how are you feeling? Very, very nervous. I'm glad I wore black. You can be part of that company today. That company is called Reservoir. It's a digital company. What it helps you do is it helps you collect and then reuse water in and around your own home. It's also going to train the next generation to make that happen. You don't just have to be a drop in the ocean. Uh, 
you can start designing smarter water homes with us today. Ordnance Survey, famed for 227 years of mapping everything above the ground, we thought, hey, let's try and map everything maybe below the ground. And we've created an underground map. Isn't that great? So a combined map, every network in this area that everybody can see at the same time. Those jams are going to go away. We'll have less congestion. We'll avoid those costly strikes. And we can dig safely and avoid injury. Fed up. So I am super excited to be speaking in front of this crowd and getting them over to our tent that one of the biggest worries for people coming to festivals like this, it's not the weather, right? It's not how good the bands are going to be. It's not even what the food's going to be like. It's the toilets, right? The question we set out to answer was, how can we improve customers' lives through the use of smart technology? And we came up with one prototype. And last night, Mal toiled away in his shed and he built it. One hour's walk in our northern cities is equivalent to smoking four cigarettes. One and a half of those cigarettes is transport. So it's you, it's you, it's me. We all have an impact on what we do. OK, thoughts before you get on that stage? Really exciting. If we can get all these people signed up to my cause, which is water efficiency, then wow, that will be a brilliant outcome. Fantastic. Feeling confident? Ish. £1.2 million pounds worth of customer money is wasted every single day in this country through Leaky Loos. Yep, Leaky Loos. So we've come up with a national Leaky Loos campaign. We've come up with Drop Swap, which is a, a trading scheme, but it's simple to use. And by developing good water using habits, they can trade. So they, they receive a big discount on their bill, but they can also plough money back into the community locally or internationally. Steph McGovern told us earlier in the week that more young people watch Blue Planet than Love Island. So people really care about this stuff. And customers are telling us that they want more help to make every drop count. Seeing all of the uh, sewer flooding and leakage data hack teams present their brilliant ideas yesterday, it was great to see all that hard work from the week come together uh, in the afternoon, it was brilliant. How are you feeling now on Monday, Friday morning compared to Monday morning? A little bit tired but still enthusiastic. And what's been your favourite bit of the week? Um, probably the rock out on day one. Lynn, this is your living app that you talked about in your pitch. How did you feel it all went? Um, the pitch was brilliant. Alison was just totally amazing. We've had just, just some fantastic feedback. We've got people who are saying that they want to come and experience what we've developed so they can bring happiness to their employees as well. So that's great. What kind of feedback have you had to your ideas? So far, people are really interested. They're actually quite scared with the, imp with the figure of four cigarettes. It's time to make a change. You've created a lot of interest, haven't you? Yes, we have. Yeah, we've got, we've got, we've had so many people telling us what, uh, how they think it ought to work, and we've tried taking all of that into account. So, are people impressed with what you've come up with? Yeah, definitely, because we've we've achieved what we set out to do. We now have a combined infrastructure map. We've, we're going to be demonstrating it in just a few moments down the other end of the tent. Lynn, come and talk to us. How? did the pitch go, do you think? Fantastic. I am so proud of Nikki. We just really want to get the message across that everybody who leaves this festival today is now a water efficiency eco-warrior. Go out, spread the message and let's get that ripple effect going before we even get those fantastic ideas done. I, I thought they did a fantastic job. They'd obviously really prepared well to give the pitch. It's clear, you know, we've developed some really uh, game-changing ideas here, things that will benefit us as a company, things that will benefit our customers and things that will benefit the environment and society as well. What happens next, I think, yeah, we'll tune some things, change some things. You cannot have an innovation festival that in itself is not innovative. What a turbulent week it's been, but more highs than lows here at the NWG Innovation Festival at Newcastle Racecourse. Our sprints have been fantastic, as have all of our contributors. We hope you've enjoyed sharing it with us here on IFTV. We will be back next year, but for now, from all of us, goodbye. Yeah.